welcome back. I saw a beautiful way to make an acrylic paint pouring flower using a small plastic spoon. I saw this on the Camille Amoy Art YouTube channel and I'll put the link in the description box below. She made it look so easy so I'm excited to try it. I am starting by adding white fluid paint across my canvas in a very thin layer. I made my own pouring medium when I mixed all of these colors and I'll put that link in the description box below. Using my stir stick, I'm just spreading the paint around, trying to not use too much paint this time. So to start, I'm going to take one of my colors, this beautiful lavender color, and put a small amount in the circle in the center of the canvas. Then I'll do my red, and then I'll do a dark purple, and then a neon pink. Here's the fun part, using my spoon. I'm going to just grab the surface of it and swipe out to the edge. Camille did mention in her videos you need to use a light touch when doing this and I see why. So this layer is my practice layer and this is the first time I've done this. cells starting to pop up. So now we're going to do a next layer of color. I'm going to put it at the edge of that first layer and again I'm trying not to use too much paint which is really hard for me. layer I've started just to practice be having a lighter touch. So as I'm putting the spoon down I'm kind of pulling it up at the same time and I'm not trying to drag the paint necessarily. I'm just trying to grab it and lift it and this layer ended up a lot better than that first layer. So here we go again and I'm gonna go more into the center and this is trying to give the illusion of layers in our flower. So far, I think this is looking great, even for my first attempt, and this is fun. One thing it's important to note is that the spoon needs to be cleaned frequently. And I didn't get it on camera, except a little bit here, but I am holding a paper towel, and after each swipe, I am cleaning my spoon. And here's another layer going closer to the center. As I work this, I am learning that I did use too much paint in the center because that's a lot of paint to pull out and it's going to look gloppy. So, I'm just doing the best I can, grabbing some white, grabbing my spoon, and some paint. And here's the next layer. It's getting smaller. And these are supposed to be the shorter layers of the petal flowers. And you can see it got a little crazy. <laughs> it's almost starting to look like an explosion. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm just adding more color and instead of trying to do a small layer, I'm just going to see if I can just add more interest into the center. So there's no white. Now we just have color. It is super fun just to play around like this, have no expectations, because I know I did my best to get that same effect Camille did, and it definitely is going to need some practice. So now it's all about playing and see how I can make the paint move. Now here, I managed just to use a little bit of paint in the center, so I'm very proud of myself there. And there we go. That little effect helped a lot. Less paint is more using the spoon with a super light touch and just having some practice. And you can also have some super fun and make some truly unique pieces with this technique. I hope this video has inspired you to try something new. Thank you for painting with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.